hey everybody i'm just answering um matt's email and i kind of mentioned this with nelson and alfreda but i want to let gerardo and chris know um i highly 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 recommend that the information does not get put into appfolio what i recommend is if you go to your deals there is a lock box tracking um deal flow kanban chart so if we were to create a deal that just simply said electronic dash and then the number or manual m dash or um century s dash and have the lock box you could then have the deal is it at the office is it in someone's car is it on the property i can create a column that says hey um let's you know pending being sent back so let me let me just do that real quick let me just say um lock box tracking uh and then just rhetorically this is why if you guys just tell me we need to add stuff let's add stuff so that's like in uh let's do it this way manager possession add deal stage and let's say um, um transit via ups usps label so this way um i can move this to here hit save so the idea should be all right look it takes a second for it to load let's just just refresh this just to make sure lockbox tracking yeah see it's on there so it just takes a second let's go back to my dashboard go to deals let's do all deals do, 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 do. Well, this will update. Let me see what happens when I close it and go back in. Sorry, guys, not as instantaneous as I thought. But again, that column will show up momentarily and you can drag and drop. Now, the cool thing about this is that there's also a deal or that it's just as any other deal. So we can have notes that says, hey, lockbox was or is being sent back or chris has lockbox and it's in his car or lisa has the lockbox she's keeping it for an owner so we can track the history of who had it who didn't have it and then guess what it's just a long running history of where it was at which house at which house at which house and we can just uh, go back and forth. Yep, see, there it goes. Now it's, you know, okay, we're waiting on this one to come back from the USPS label. Or it was on property, Chris took it out, now it's in manager possession. Or it was, you know, on the property, we picked it up, it's now at the office. Or it was on the property and it's now broken. You know, and so if we have these consistently, then once someone moves it, you know, Chris has access to this, the um what are they called the vas have access to this everybody would have access to this and it's in a visual you should be able to see it at any given time um and then we just as we bring in a new lockbox you know matt got two new lockboxes he could say hey century lock dash blah blah blah, blah. and it's at the office doesn't need a deal description you can say no owner which is a cool thing. We could also decide that's like, hey, this is Matt's lockbox. Matt is responsible for this one. And we can kind of go from there. So guys, this is what I recommend we do. Um, I did speak to the single family managers in the meeting. Gerardo is taking point on this. So if this works, it's on Gerardo. If it fails, it's on Gerardo. This is, this is going to be Gerardo's baby going forward. Mm -hmm.